Okay, there we go. Indeed. Even in a train. So, one second. What went wrong there? We were supposed to stop in the station. That makes sense. But I was looking at the, you know, distance on the upper left side of the screen. It was saying like 68 yards. So I thought we weren't due for stopping yet. But then, if there was a red signal in front, then I should have stopped definitely. So maybe I should have stopped first, waited for it to go green, and then went forward again. Maybe. Cross a bridge you will love. Oh, start from Brighton. I like the sound of that. Same train. Back off where you started. Yeah. Let's see. Brighton. Um, this guy. Oh, crap. Um, well, that's one hour. Brighton to London. So it's the other way around. Maybe there's a shorter one? Oh, <laughs> YouTube. Let's see. Maybe we don't blow past the red signal this time. Um, 8.42, that's a.m., right? Oh, there we go. I was looking for the sun. <clears throat> Good. Brighton to Gatwick. Is that shorter? Let's try that. That might be shorter. So in case I blow past a red signal, not everyone will be wasted. Not everything will be wasted. Sun in the UK. That's a very good point. That means we have to change. The level here light clouds but the cloud level maybe max it out like that does that make sense now <laughs> more uh, appropriate okay brighton to catwick is there such a thing hmm. i don't think there is though There is a Gatwick to London. Lovers Walk Depot. Interesting. Interesting name. Uh huh. Yeah, it might be PDX, huh? It's nothing that. Uh... Yeah, let's go with that then. Start with 1051, maybe. A bit brighter. Brighton to London, Victoria. We can manage. Let's do that. <clears throat> Maybe we'll blow past the red signal again. <laughs> One second. Okay, I see a red signal in front of me. This time I'm I'm a tad more aware. Let's open the doors. Um door on the right. Oh yeah, I think I have to set the master key first. There we go. Let's turn on the thingies. Um, Vigilance, TSD, and AWS, right? Now we know. Fancy. No eating? Yeah, no eating. <laughs> no eating if we're not all eating. Okay, so Bye, let me orient time. myself. Have a great time. Let me orient myself. So this is how a red signal looks like, huh? Hmm. <laughs> I've never seen one before. Okay, that looks good. Maybe I'll recognize it next time. That bridge you should definitely check out. Looking forward to that one. AWS is the big yellow button in front of you. Ah, so that's different from the pedal. The pedal is for DSD. Ah, 
Have a good night, Panda. Good luck with the wheel. Let us know if we can help with anything. Good luck with the FFB. Alright. Yeah, it does seem a bit sad how huh, without the rush hour passengers. Looks a bit empty. Alright, off we go. So the big yellow button, you mean this guy? Ah, and then this one is for, yeah, this is the vigilance pedal. Interesting. Okay. M. Anyone know, anyone know what M stands for? Is that an M track, maybe? Isn't that in the US, M track? Sorry. <laughs> It was right there. Why is it that the the thing on the upper left is like um, faded out? Did I do something about that? It all it always sounds scary when the the power cuts off like that. I don't think I'll ever get used to that sound. Feels like a very bad sound. Okay, green up ahead. Makes sense. Pay close attention. So okay, the first stop goes direct to Gatwick and then I guess the next one, Gatwick to London, maybe. Or maybe we'll have multiple stops on the way. Okay, get some power in. Improper use of clutch. Didn't float it good enough. But once you pick up speed, you don't. Uh, you don't uh, hear the powering off sound anymore. I guess you're traveling too fast that the gaps are too small. So you always have something in there by then. T for the timetable, thank you. Indeed, yeah. Brighton to Gatwick and then Gatwick to London, Victoria. Good. Speeding up. Now it's proper UK weather, isn't it? This feels more like UK. Whoa! That was amazing. So many thumbnails here. Let me know when the bridge is coming up. I'll get my f my camera ready. Oh, that's a bit uh, bad. The rendered distance on those fences. You actually see them getting appearing right in front of you. You have to extend that a bit. overall this is looking great and I think so far pretty stable right it's just user error a while ago <laughs> maybe I should save huh? um, before we reach Gatwick remind me to save so in case I miss the red signal again we'll have a chance to at least do a, make a do-over Engine.ini file. Sorry, which one? Make changes to what? Still seems too dark. Are there other settings I should use? Oh, that's the that's the strongest, I think. Oh, the rendering distance. Oh, can you tweak it? Okay, that will be perfect. Because those are things, there are maybe three main things, or maybe actually just two main things that I want to improve in terms of graphics. The first one is probably the, tr the pop-in for the trees. Yeah, if you look at the trees close enough, you'll see them morphing in front of you, right? 
these these trees not that bad these trees are not that bad there are some which are more intense so that's one and then the second one is the the shadow on the rails so if depending on the time of day you can actually see like the shadow only drawn up to here and then it you, you'd see those farther cut off there's no shadow in there so it will, the shadow would always be crawling here you kind of see it just a bit but it's not that intense i think it's because it's cloudy so you don't have that much sun to cast shadows on ah oh, that's perfect that's amazing that's awesome pdx that's great to hear because i have a lot of headroom currently gpu is 50 percent utilized so if it's gpu power that's needed i have uh, plenty of headroom i'd like to maximize that a bit you can edit that that's great to hear yeah after some time i you'll get used to it anyway but um, if there's a way we can improve it why not why not mods out there improves the scenery in each route oh nice yeah i'm still trying to stay away from mods until it's stable enough with the performance and with the crashes well so far not too bad here right not too bad. Not for this one yet. Makes sense. It's pretty new. But, I mean... I don't really... To me... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This looks really good already. I think the, the camera is hitting something, getting blown off course. You can actually see the third rail kind of switching directions. So, so does that mean the shoe, the shoes are on both sides of the train? I only checked one, but I guess that makes sense. Huh? Should be on both sides. Okay, next time when I acknowledge, I should really acknowledge, not just press a button and do nothing about it. Also, the sky doesn't look half bad, does it? Because usually I hate the sky boxes here in this game, but this one actually looks pretty nice. Cool, I like that. No complaints there. There are shoes on both sides. Oh, yellow. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. Maybe we should start slowing down. This time I'm paying more attention. <laughs> Let's see if it will be double yellow or one yellow. Yikes. One yellow, okay, so I have to really slow down here. Looks like it will be red the next time. Yeah. When you see yellow, start to slow down. Thank you. I think I'll make it this time. Yes. Let's coast along until we get close to that red signal. Oh, this is nice. Nice twist, huh? Not all green. All green is a bit boring. Having a bit of uh, flare in there is quite nice. Bit of variety in the route. This is the cool thing about the timetable, huh? Even if it's the same route, because of all the different combinations of the trains, you actually get a different experience with each uh, signal. Yeah, red. Keep it safe in there. There you go. 
Um, what now? <laughs> Good question. Oh, there we go. Nice. There is a train indeed in front. Okay. Do we have to acknowledge that again? No, I don't think so. I like this. This is very straightforward, huh? The signaling system. I guess it's not as comprehensive. It's not as uh, powerful as the German train signals because you don't have an idea what the speeds you should be at. But it is very easy to grasp, right? Hard to master, but easy to grasp. Oh, it also turned yellow, the next signal. Very nice. Cool. That train is finally getting a move on. Yeah, in here, the AWS really helps a lot because if you're not paying attention, it gives you a nice... Um, block. Pay attention. <laughs> cool. Once we're more stable here, I'll also have a look at the map to see how the route is looking like. Coast along here. Is that a double yellow? It is. Okay, let's stay at 50. Might be too fast for the train in front. I actually want to see... Is it possible to see that? Where the guy is? Might be much farther than I am, huh? So it down a bit. Okay, let's stay at 50 maybe. It's double yellow again. Yeah, I must be following a train, huh? If you zoom in, you can see it. All the trains you can see on the map. Okay. I wish there was an option to keep the... Have like a mini map. So I don't get too paranoid of... If I'm going to hit something. <laughs> Because when I'm here, I feel so helpless. You know, I feel like I'm going to hit something soon. There's a train that is coming close. It's not happening anytime soon, I know, right? Yeah, it's just wishful thinking. There we go, green! That's good. Alright, let's speed up. Nice. Signaling systems are amazing. <clears throat> Just drive slower than the posted speed. Limit to avoid the yellows and reds. Ah, yes, it makes a lot of sense. Cool. And yeah, now it looks like the train has picked up speed. Hey, Rich. This is the London commuter, part of the rush hour season ticket. We are taking the route from Brighton, making our way to Gatwick Airport, and then from there to London. Yes, just came out last week indeed. Train! But yeah, you, it, you're a bit more... You're a bit more free when it comes to the... Uh, the London safety system, isn't it? Like you have green, yellow signals, but you don't really need to slow down. Like a yellow signal, you can still go full speed if you want, as long as you don't blow past the red one. Right? There, there is no like speed limit in yellow signals, so you're a bit more. It's a bit more error prone, but if you know what you're doing. Then I guess it's also a bit more, a bit less restrictive, right? Look at that DLC. It is a very nice DLC. Yeah. Yeah, the, the rush hour season pass I think is very good um, bang for the buck. Three DLCs. For the price of, I don't know, one and a half. Maybe something like that. Let's 
takes that fourth person here again. But yes, I'll probably do a poll guys on Discord. A quick one. Um just to check if it's going to be if you want it convoy, so we stick to free mods. Or if you want it if you want to check out like Ruda's trailers or something, but that probably won't be multiplayer. Yeah. Will be more will be a bit more free with the mods that we explore. But yes, it won't be a convoy. So some people might, li might like that, some might not. So let's have a poll on Discord about it. Uh, if I remember, <laughs> I'll post it. Oh, is this the bridge? Ooh. It's the bridge. Good one. Oi! Ah, oh, dang it, did I? I guess the the warning thing came up, huh? And I was sent in the cab, so I didn't hear it. Dang it. Thought, thought about me the first time I passed it. Well, it was worth it. It was worth the em emergency brakes. <laughs> Taking photos on that bridge, I'll take it. There you go. Can we just go f notch 4 here and just go to the speed limit again? Okay, let's get back to it. I guess if I w don't want the DSD, the warning to come up while I'm in third person, what I can, I can do is I can just toggle the throttle 3 and 4, 3 and 4 maybe, something like that, just to refresh the timer that might be something I can do thanks for the recommendation EX I like that bridge Some changes in this mod. Enhanced pent pack mod for this route. That is so fast. How long has it been? One week? Goodness, these guys are amazing. A new gray tinted brown ballast texture. A brand new Boeing 737 sold. <laughs> as well as a new. That's the plane I'm waiting for in Microsoft Light Sim. It should be coming this year from PMDG. As well as a new flyover audio, an updated TCMS display texture. What is TCMS? For both 387 and 377, various retextured station clutter such as newspapers, vending machines, route maps, billboards, adverts. British folks really like the adverts word, huh? It's, 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 I hear it most from them. I think in the US, what do you call it? Commercials? That's how we call it in the Philippines. I would guess that's from the US. Advertisements, you call it. Ah, in the Philippines, you call it commercials. Be on TV. <clears throat> yes, we call them billboards when it's a billboard and it's a commercial when it's on TV. Branding patch added to a selection of static vehicles. New realistic and generic station announcements. Oh, nice. And this is done by a group of community members. This is not official, how I take it. VR 187 coming out this week. Nice. Wasn't there one more that's coming out? Uh, what is it? Rivet Games? It's, it looked like an old um, London loco. Oh, dang it. I missed the speed limit again. I have to look at that uh, overlay better. Thankfully, it's not as bad as overshooting a red aspect. 
1938 tube stock London Underground stock train nice so remind me again guys when when there's a logo like this that comes out does it come with its own route or is it normally uh, like on an existing route so would we see that here in the London Brighton route maybe no underground here though maybe not it may add more services than existing route I see I see so when you go to the tank timetable for that route you'll see that new loco in there the new train I see it won't have its own route does dovetail games do they also release um, train DLCs or are they mostly um, the ones who release the routes and it's the third party developers who are releasing the trains there you go yeah you should be able to pdx you should have some sub uh, benefits about that or uh, it depends on nightbot's mo mood actually so <laughs> it's a it's a roll of the dice three miles away let's save the game here so in case i screw things up we have somewhere to get back to there you go mainly for train sim Rivet Games does not have a good, uh, uh, where was that message? I heard about that. Actually, I think I heard about that from you. <laughs> does not get a good rep because of Train Sim, previous Train Sim releases from them. Skyhook's very good. You mentioned about that before, the 187. That is a modern train, isn't it? <sighs> so I guess it would be in the Dresden uh, Riesa, uh, Risa route. Okay. I guess we should start slowing down. modern train but freight i see other than lawn mowing sim devs i see i see right cool we're starting the last checkpoint checks checkpoints are your stops ah so it just so happened that we didn't have another stop in the other route because it was an express route right i see Okay, so if we get past this, then we'll have a checkpoint at least. That's good to know. Looking good. No other speed limits. We we'll get one more notch there. I see the station up ahead. It's too slow. Here we have lots of passengers. Yeah, this is what I was saying a while ago. No, this is this is okay. This is okay. There you go. Perfect. I'll take it. We were one hour and a half minutes late. I'll take that. The, does anyone know if there is a reputation or what is the reputation for these London commuter routes? Are they generally on time? Or the opposite? Uh, I think we're good, right? Yes, we're good. Right. 
off we go. This train is very straightforward to drive, I like it. The seats are uncomfortable. Iron board seats. <laughs> are they now? Oh, I would love to check it out, but they, we have that vigilance system. Can't really leave this spot. Maybe later. Trains are pretty much plastic. We'll have to get used to the PZB freight mode for the 187. Oh, yeah. Different speed, is it? Um, instead of 85, what speed would it be? 55? <clears throat> Ooh, scared me again. <laughs> the train just shutting down like that. Different speeds. Yeah. I really like the German train system. It's very involved. Not very good for sightseeing. You hardly can go like this, right? You hardly can go exterior view, but man, is it uh, is it immersive? You really be focusing the entire time. I would imagine there are also lines that stop at each of these um, stations because the ones we've done so far is this like express routes right and I guess it's because this is the 187 which is handling those um, express routes maybe if we pick a different train it will be the the station by station kind of thing or the rush hour feel 387 is express ah there you go makes sense yeah, if we finish this early enough maybe we can try a bit the other trains just for contrast 377 is commuter okay yeah we can go with the 377 then good Too much happening everything is green so that means it's time for sightseeing let's just toggle the switch there is a speed limit change coming up ahead there are shoes on the left side indeed Yeah, we're both there. Start coasting here. Let's get a bit of sounds. Maybe just one, just two. Yeah, I think that gets too loud. Maybe just one. It's a nice balance. So we're coasting here, but it's slightly, very minorly going up. 0.3% grade, huh? So we should be, I think, right at 80 miles by the time we have to slow down. Another one, eight, uh, 387, rather. And how do you guys remember these numbers? buzzer code good we can get some power in there's the 80 indeed so I think this is the same what was the route we were driving a while ago the first one where I blew past the red signal <laughs> Maybe I should have been paying more attention. Um, was that London to Gatwick or Gatwick to Brighton? I think it's one of those. And now we're driving the opposite 
route, right? Sped up again. Nice. Just slow down for a bit there. Maybe regard maybe because of the bends. But 80 miles, 90 miles. What is that? 90 miles in kilometers is, uh, I don't know, around 120 kilometers per hour. It's not bad. Roughly. Okay, all good. Maximum speed 110. I don't think we'll get to that in this route though. Trying to look at different buttons. There's something I can fiddle with. When you press Q, it plays safe and presses both AWS and steps on the vigilance pedal for you. Make sense? apparently they are different things huh? different tones as well what's this DRA DRA does anyone know what that stands for it's red so I don't want to touch it train fault acknowledge whistle Cab light? Oh, there it is. Okay, cab light. There it is. Ah, there. Okay. Ah, indeed. But yes, I still don't have headlights. Hmm. missing something guys is it just a lighting bug maybe maybe not the best time to start looking for buttons in the dark well we have the cabin light uncoupled no nope. don't want that hazard lights interesting just like a car emergency brakes What is this door thing? There's no door here. I think I like this level of sound. Just one window open. Thank you. What are we looking for? The headlights. So I turned them on. But in the tunnel, it's still super dark. It's as if there are no lights. So down a bit. Just a touch on the brakes. Ah, uh, okay. It's just the lighting problem, I see. Oh, you even get different sounds depending on which window is open. That's pretty cool. So if I open the other window, yeah, it's a bit more subdued, right? Because it's farther from you. So you hear less of the exterior sounds. That is nice attention to detail, actually. Hey, I like that. I think I like the right one more, though. Yeah, just the right volume. <clears throat> Looking good. Yep. Here we go. You like the headlights are not supposed to light up the area in front of you. Ah, aren't they? I see. So it's really... Because it's a train, it's normally just trust the signals. You don't really need to see what's in front of you. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. 
very different from like driving a car huh? or a truck American trains are different where the headlights will light up a mile in front of you uh, so it's also different so it's so different depending on the place I see German or UK? Oh, I like the German trains. I like the, the I like the views in the UK, but I like the systems of the German trains. I like the 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 immersion, like the the the, the buttons, <laughs> more things to fiddle with. But yeah, for sightseeing, for relaxation, I think this is this is the the route to go if you really want to do things with your fingers. Oi. What was that? Oh yeah, yellow signal. No, that's not ours. Was that because I was too fast, maybe? Interesting. AW is reduction to 60. Oh, there you go. Oh, so there is a reduction to 60. There, there is a, like a heads up. Is it only for 60 or for other speeds as well? pretty cool yeah that's what something I was hoping for the, what I like about the German trains is you don't need to know the route you just need to know how to read the signals and how to react to them so it's very friendly for guys like me who have a hard time remembering the routes so you don't have to rely on your memory or overlays there's the 60 Very nice. I see one more up ahead, 45 this time, but AWS didn't uh, do anything. So I guess it was only for the 60 that it's warning you, huh? There was a warning board telling it to slow down. Oh, of course I missed it, huh? Um, what did it look like? <laughs> did it look like a like your normal speed limit sign? Triangle like board with a number display. Ah, I see. Okay, thank you. So that's like the heads up <clears throat> Dang it Missed that again There you go Here it's 30 Not the best at the speeds at the moment, but we're good. We're there. Okay, now I see the signs. Two yellows. Maybe let's stay at 30 for now. Just wait for that guy to get ahead again. Might have caught up to him again. Let me see if I can spot that triangle next time. That might be helpful. Okay, good. Oh no, one yellow. Okay. Slow down here. I think we'll have to stop for sure the next one. But yeah, this is the kind of variety I like. Not very friendly for the the timing or whatnot, the uh, timetable, but it's nice. Adds variety to the route. Start slowing it down. There's the red signal. Blow past it, please. Oh, there you go. Nice. Perfect. We don't really need to rush it, do we? 
The timetable is pretty conservative on this route. Even stopping at Reds should be able to meet the time. Ah, nice. It's good to know. Okay, looks like the guy in front is speeding up. I like that. You can actually see the signals changing. 30. There we go. Anyone know what that means? 40, 70. Okay, two yellows now. Good. Guy in front is on the way. I heard a bit of ambient sounds there. Like the station sounds as we passed the station. It was a nice touch. Unless I was just imagining it. Let's just stay at this speed. Still yellow in front, I think. The timings take that into consideration. Ah, and I see. There we go. Now it's green. Awesome. Start accelerating again. Yeah, I like this area. I like this um, approach where you have someone in front of you. So you have to pace yourself, you can just go full throttle every time. And there we, we saw it actually, the yellow turned to green there in the distance. Okay, I think we can speed up. Let's give it five more seconds. Okay, let's do it. Still yellow up ahead though. Might be good if I stayed. No, it's okay. Good. He's accelerating. Wow, time flies. Only six miles left. Nice countryside vibes. Lots of residential houses. Go. I guess in an ideal setting you would never see the train in front of you, huh? That's what the signals are all for. Pretty cool. Good. 60 up ahead? Oh. Cool. Okay. Maybe we'll see that triangle. Yellow triangle thingy. AWS. I don't know. When that triggers. Let's keep an eye out on it though. Train Sim Channel on Discord. Guide for tweaking the game. Thank you. That will be perfect. Awesome stuff, EDX. Thanks. I think that was the 60. No, that was the just the Vigilance. There was no 60. Didn't see a signboard yet. Lots of trains on this route, huh? I like it. Yeah, look at that. One after the other. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh no. 
I was looking at it, it was yellow for a second, then turned green. Good. Good. Should be within that zone. Nice. Anyone know what those signs were for? Like yellow signs with like a slash in there? I hope that's not for us. There's a speed reduction again up ahead. Oh, I would never get to memorize that. I would really need those overlays. Let's see, let's stay here. It'll take a while for us to reach that. And I think it will be pretty easy to slow down to that speed anyway. Let's maybe slow down when it's uh, less than a mile way there. Looks like we're catching up to the train again. Maybe he's starting to slow down. He might be reaching his destination soon. That's the, There's the magnet. And there's AWS maybe. Maybe. Maybe might as well start slowing down here so we don't have to hit the red at all. So we're down to 45. That was a quiet warning. Looks like the guy stopped. Okay, let's wait here then. Did I break the train? Why is there no warning anymore? <laughs> Dang it. Okay, let's stop here. Okay. Save it. Alright. Bail, which one? What failed? Oh, that looks great. Time for some photos. Perfect autumn vibes there. I wish we could get a tilt. <laughs> I'd love to tilt this a bit. That would be perfect. Yeah, photo hype, exactly. Where are we now? Looks like it's starting to get busy again over at these parts. Yeah, it looks good. I think I'll make that a thumbnail later. It's just nice, nice lines, right? Have a look at the map, maybe. Let's try and trace it. Uh, that's the train, isn't it? Is it? Looks like it. Yeah, that's the guy. So when he goes past there, I guess we should get a yellow now. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Just like transport fever, huh? I like this train, pretty straightforward. Just one lever for throttle and brakes. I don't even need the other one anymore, is there? Does it have other brakes, do you guys know? Aside from the emergency, like the, what do you call this? Independent brakes or dynamic brakes kind of thing? Or it's just really this one? Very straightforward. Stay at this speed, maybe. I 
Is this the... What did they call it a while ago? Clapham or something? Do we have a, a name for it? Oh, I didn't read the sign. They have to... Okay, there he goes. From one yellow became two yellow. That's good. But I'd like that to turn green. So let's stay here at this speed for now. And in the meantime, let me check why my warning has gone and died down. That's one of my favorite train sounds in a train. He has headlights. I'm envious now. <laughs> That's one of my favorite sounds in a train. The the sound when it crosses the the track, is it? Oh yeah, I I got emergency brakes, guys. Cuz I couldn't hear the warning. Dang it. Hate that. How do I release the brakes? I have traction lock. Come on, let me finish one route. <laughs> Please. <laughs> ah. We're doing something wrong, guys. Should I reload, maybe? Move the reverser. Ah, there we go. Good, thank you. Ah, so you have to, uh, like, refresh it. Thank you. A while ago, I didn't need to do that. Maybe it was a different, um, a different check. Okay, I have to, I have to have my eyes on the warning because it seems like it's not working anymore at least the sounds aren't so i have to pay close attention to it slowing down to 45 here too it's okay but at least we got some allowance Train in front of us is way in front now, so I don't have to worry about him. Oh, overlapping lines. Very nice. Ah, <laughs> sorry. Uh, photos first before driving priorities bridge oh I think it works again maybe it got bugged with like exterior interior view uh, and now that I've gone out maybe it works I don't know we'll see we'll see but we're almost there more than a mile away. We have one more speed reduction up ahead though. Then I think from there we are home free. Stick to 40. So many services to choose from. Nice. Over 4,000. Goodness. Ah, yes, the warnings are back. Thank you. Yellow indeed. Okay, caught up to that train again. That's fine. Slow it down. Almost there. It's insane. In comparison, how many do the other routes have? Like the, the Dresden one. Would you have an idea how many that has? Oh, 
all the trains here. Now I think it's broken again. Wendy, that's super slow. Yeah, that's the sound I like. Let's go ahead and open the windows. So we can hear those more. Ah, yes. <laughs> Getting goosebumps here. ASMR vibes. Cool. Average route will have around 400. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is... Yeah, that's a, that's just a, a tad bigger, huh? Tad more by a factor of ten. Nice. Looking good. Will we get to finish finally? We will know soon enough. We don't see the red thing. Maybe it should start breaking. Looks good. Good. Ooh. I had a bit of a scare that I would <laughs> crash into the thing at the last moment and negate everything. <laughs> Here we are. Okay, happy passengers. Just a tad late, I think. Let's have a look. Some of that 4,000 are AI only. Drivable ones are closer to 1,000. But still, that means more trains overall, right? That's great. You did that in your last run. Does it, does it like, get a black screen when you crash into something? Okay, we overshot some of the speed limits, yeah, but not too bad for the most part. I'll take it. Still gold, it's very, very nice, very uh, kind with the gold, this one. Cool. Let's go back to the main menu. Let's start part three.